Hi and welcome, my name is Lawrence Baker and this video is going to be about the new or relatively new Hue slider, H-U-E. I think it came about in the June 2020 version of Lightroom. I've painted this flower here with an adjustment brush. It can be used in any tool that can change color and that will be the graduated filter, radial filter or adjustment brush. I happen to have used an adjustment brush. Z or Z to zoom in. Now, I haven't ticked use fine adjustment because that just basically slows down the movement of the slider. So I'm just gonna untick it. And personally, I don't like it until I get near the color I want. So let's show you what I've actually done to that flower. So I've painted that area there. Now the adjustment brush isn't perfect, but it stops me going into Photoshop. So you can see how it works. Now, double click on effect to zero everything out. Hue here is part of hue, saturation and brightness. The way to show it to you is inside of Photoshop. Now this is the hue wheel. Let's put it on zero there. So it goes from zero to 360. Zero is basically red. So going around like so in the positive there, but anti-clockwise, I'm going around all the colors and coming back to red again. I think the yellow in the flower was basically 53 degrees roughly in yellow. So how it works in Lightroom, the hue slider is, it goes 180 degrees either side of that color. Double click on hue again, because notice it's on yellow already. And by the way, the top bar is just for reference. So it's the bottom bar you should be looking at, but it's it does help you, but it, it's a little bit confusing that, and I think they need to change the way this looks, the user experience of this or the UI of this, because it is a little bit clunky, but it does work. So the, it's the bottom one that makes the changes. So with, let's say, going to 180 that way, it's blue, and 180 that way is going to be blue, because you can understand with the wheel, you know, you're going back to the same place. So the opposite side of that yellow there is that blue. So that's what you're doing by going 180 degrees either side. It doesn't matter the way you go around the wheel, you're ending up in the same place. So that's the concept. Forget about saturation and brightness. Just concentrate on hue being from 0 to 360, and 0 is red, and it comes back to almost red again at 360 degrees, or 359. You're one degree away from being pure red again. So that's how it works. It just goes either side of the original color. Now, I've got a little graduated overlay here, M on my keyboard, Z or Z to zoom out. If I click on that, you can see it started off on that light blue there. So that's how it works. Now, I've not used it on a multicolored object yet. So that's a little bit of a, a mistake on my behalf. I just thought about it now because if it's picking the predominant color, which I believe it's doing, it could have problems with objects or multicolored. It will have to pick a color, or maybe it uses an average of all three color channels, red, green, and blue. I don't know, and Adobe haven't divulged that, but it does work for small changes, and I do like it. I use it mainly with the adjustment brush, but occasionally on a graduated filter. But for graduated filters, I would still use temp better than I would use hue, double click on that, because hue is a little bit, a bit too much, and I'd rather have that tint, double click on effect, and plus I use color as well if I want to add a color into a sky as well. And I find it more subtle, which it definitely is, because it's only tinting it. Whereas hue, you're definitely going to change the color, so K for adjustment brush, when you go back to that adjustment brush, for something like that, it's absolutely fantastic, and it stops you from going to change colors inside Photoshop. So it is a great enhancement. As I said, top bar for reference, uh, double click on hue to get to zero. Use fine adjustment it just means you're moving the slider slower basically. But I prefer to go there like this and then click fine adjustment. As I said, I've not used it on a multicolored object. I do like it though. I just think they need, need to change the look of it or make it slightly larger. And forget about that reference one. Personally, I don't find it really helps me. It just confuses me slightly. That's it, guys. That's the hue slider inside the radio filter, the graduated filter, and the adjustment brush. Thank you very much.